Hi, I'm Doug Morris. I'm the Chief Product Officer here at CSI. I'm going to show you how to pay dues and subscriptions with the Data Management Suite. What I'm going to do is take a look at Tim's record here first. We can see Tim under membership uh, owes us some money. Okay, he's got his regular member fees of 200 and his PAC contribution. The way IMIS works is it's going to take whatever money you throw at it and apply it in priority order. So the priority number one is going to be the membership fees and next would be PAC. So if I were to send in uh, $200, it would pay off this and leave the PAC alone. If I were to send in 220, it would do both. And if I were to send in 240, it would pay off both of these and put the 20 to an overpayment. But in this case, what we're going to show you how to do is we're going to go for Tim. And we've got a nice little spreadsheet here. It's got his ID in here. It's got the amount that's being paid. So think of it like almost a, a monthly union sort of thing. Uh, $10, the date that it came in. And then you will need a payment method. So whether it's Visa, Cash, or whatever, I'm going to use Cash for this. So next up, we're going to jump over the data management suite. And once we're here, we're going to use iImport because we're using a spreadsheet. We're going to grab our file. And if this file didn't have an ID in it, say it had last name and email, I would use insert with matching. So I don't have to have an ID. So I could match on other fields to figure out what record it applies to. But in this case, I have the ID. So I'm going to do insert. Next up, we're going to add our mapping. And we're going to go down to the billing payments. What you saw in IMIS are the subscriptions. So that's a thing you can bring in. If you wanted to instantly bill for dues, you could bring them in with subscriptions. But we're going to bring in billing payments. We're going to go down. We'll do a field at a time. Date is going to map over to the date. Save. Shortcut here, right? I can just click on ID and then ID. Save. Amount goes to the amount. Save. And then finally, the payment method to the payment method. Save. So those are the four you need. They don't have to be in your spreadsheet. If these were all coming in today and today was February 2nd, I could, when I added the date, I could have gone and actually put the input right here. So you can hard code fields right in here, but I had it in my spreadsheet. So we're all ready to go. We're gonna hit submit. Couple things here, continue on air. If you're doing a whole bunch of these and say you have a bad ID in your spreadsheet, uh, you don't want the import stopping. Uh, you can have this checkbox ticked. You tick that and you're all good to go. And we're gonna go all the way down here. It says what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit continue with insert. It's going out, it's gonna do some light validation on the, uh, the data that you're presenting it. And then it's gonna tell you what it did. It put $10 towards ID 19108. We're back to Tim's record, 19108. We're gonna hit refresh here and hopefully see his balance drop by $10. There it is. So now we've seen that drop by 10. The paid through will be automatically updated once this is fully paid. And then once this is fully paid, the extra dollars would start going to the pack. That's how easy it is to pay dues and subscriptions with the data management suite. If you are licensed for a product, remember you have unlimited support. Please do not hesitate to email us at support at csiinc.com. If you have some new cool ideas for us, ideas at csiinc.com. And of course, sales at csiinc.com if you saw something and you don't have it and you want it. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. Bye.